What's up guys, David Fala here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another tutorial. On today's tutorial, we're going to be doing a mid skin fade. The back is gonna be a little bit lower. It's gonna be like a drop fade on the back, a little bit higher in the front. The haircut, this, this client's texture here is very difficult. He has a lot of spaces in between. I've been cutting him for a very long time. I have tried so many techniques to get that fade the right way and it's very tricky it's very hard i know you guys have clients like this i know you guys have clients where it's not the easiest hair to do so because of that that's why i wanted to record his haircut so you guys can see that not every haircut is going to come out perfect some haircuts are going to come out like very good but it's still going to have imperfections because it's going to be on an on perfect canvas and i want to show you guys that i know a lot of barbers put like very good work they put, put out the best work but now we don't we don't always have the best clients in the, in the regards like the the type of hair they have the type of skin they have you know how the hair grows all that stuff sometimes we cannot control that so that's the reason why i wanted to do this video so let's go ahead and start <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do we're going to wet the hair i like to start with the top first how you can see already you can start seeing on the sides how the growth pattern is a little bit different it grows in different directions and you can see the spaces i have the same problem with the size of my hair so when i get a haircut the size uh, sometimes is a little bit harder to fade uh, for the barber cutting me uh, it's a little bit harder and it, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it just because the texture in the front the density is a little bit different than the rest of my hair so in his case he has different density in different parts and he has more spaces in, in some places than others so it's a little bit it's a little bit different hair and I know you guys are gonna have clients like this so that's why I want to show you guys what will be for me a diff more difficult haircut to do and how I go about it so the first thing we're going to do we're gonna start with the top the reason why I like to create the top shape first like how it's gonna look on the top and then from there it makes it easier for me to fade just always think about it like if you get a client that's gonna get like a number four on the top and skin on the sides you always cut the top first and then we'll fade down from there so that's pretty much what we're going to do so the step we're gonna take after wearing the hair is we're gonna take a like a mohawk section to say like that just a section right in the middle and we're gonna use that as our guide depending depending how you cut this section is uh, is gonna dictate how the whole hair is gonna look right so the whole top is gonna look uh, the way that you it's gonna be shaped the way you want depending on how this section is cut so always keep that in mind so how you can see I'm kind of elevating everything kind of 90 degrees from the head right so it's gonna have like a more roundish uh, shape to it and that is important to remember because that's gonna dictate how the hair is gonna move so with a round shape you always gonna remember and this is something I talk about in classes about shapes and all this stuff uh, with a round shape it's gonna have a little bit more movement because it's following the head shape and because it's a round shape we're not building any corners right so that's very important to remember so now that I have the middle cut now what I'm going to do I'm going to take uh, horizontal sections I'm gonna look for that guy in the middle and I'm gonna cut everything square so I want the haircut to be square uh, vertical uh, shape and on the horizontal shape I want it to be a little bit more round Now that we are done with the with the top, we're going to start fading, right? Uh, you can see the hair is still a little bit wet. That's fine. You can use your clippers with wet hair. Most clippers will tell you in the box if you can use it for dry or wet hair or for both. In this case, the wall seniors, you can use them with, you know, with wet hair, dry hair, it doesn't really matter. So now what we're doing, we're using number three and with the number three, we're gonna connect with the top. Whatever we do on top, we're going to connect with a number three. The reason why number three is because for me it's comfortable. I feel comfortable after number three to use scissors to connect. If you don't feel as comfortable, you can use a different number. You can use maybe a number four, five, six, whatever you feel comfortable with. In my case, I wanna use a number three because it makes it easier for me to fade from a number three to a number zero, right? So once you remove all that bulk and you start connecting your haircut, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to uh, continue the haircut not making mistakes. In this case, I'm going to start uh, using my wall seniors with the lever closed, right, to create my skin line. 
I don't you I don't create a skin line with the trimmers how most barbers do and the reason is because it makes it a lot harder to remove especially your clippers are not adjusted or zero gap so if I make this guide with this clipper I'm gonna remove the guide with the same clipper so that's a little tip that, that I give you guys there Now we're going to continue the fading process. How you guys saw, I used the skin line, well, the zero on the machine to create my skin line. Then I used a trimmer to bolt out even more the, 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 the bottom line. And then I used the shaver to really give it that skin fade look. So now we have the shaver, the trimmer, and the zero of the machine. Now the next step in this case, how I said, it, there's so many ways to go about this. This is this different steps uh, to achieve the same result. In this case, I'm using a number one with the lever close to create my second guideline, right? And then now what I'm doing, I'm using the machine without any guards to um, erase that guide. So I'm not using the 116 or the half. If you have it, you could use it. It doesn't mean you have to follow these same steps, but if you don't have it, this will be a great tutorial for you because it will show you how to achieve a fade without having the half or the one and a half, okay? So all I'm doing right now is using uh, the machine with a lever open and then little by little I'm closing it until the lever is fully closed and that line is fully raised. Now I'm going to use a number two with the lever close to create my next guideline. So let's recap. The first guideline was a zero. The second guy was a one. And the third guy is going to be a number two. So we're going to do the same process. In this case, you can start seeing how the hair like it has so many spaces, so many different growth patterns, how it's lining up really quickly. And also in this case, you can start seeing the bones. The client has a little bit of indents in certain parts of his head, especially with the head rounds. And that's because of the bones are a little bit more, uh, protrude a little bit more, right? So it's important to you to remember that, that all that is gonna affect the way the fade looks, right? And as barbers, we're going to do our best to create the best haircut overall. But at the same time, sometimes we're gonna have to make decisions if it's good to, or, or efficient enough to, if it's efficient for you to light up certain parts of the haircut in exchange of maybe kind of messing up the shape of what you're trying to create, right? Sometimes you can achieve both. You can create a beautiful shape with a beautiful fade. Sometimes you gotta pick one. For me, I always choose the shape because that's what the client's gonna see and that's gonna dictate how the client styles his hair. So that's something uh, always to remember, okay? So now what I did, it was that, uh, remember I made the, the number two, so I used the number one lever open first and then I close that lever to erase that line. So now you can see, you can start seeing the fade coming out, right? So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, cut the top up, sorry, but I'm gonna dry the top First, make sure that you know it's a style the way I want. In this case, we're creating something with more texture. It's kind of style forward. I want to make sure it has the right shape, it has the right movement or texture, and so I can continue seeing how the full the full haircut looks, right? That's very important for me. In some parts, I'm gonna be using the, the trimmer, how you can see, especially to create the, the, the shape of. I'm using my trimmer, I'm gonna shape up the beard as well. Um, in this case, I'm not going to shape up the forehead, I'm just gonna kind of shape up the C cup, and that's about it and I'm gonna use scissors to retouch the fade a little bit.
Okay, right now I'm detailing the haircut using the razor. Just make sure you shape the neck, behind the ears, make sure you do the shape up with that, the beard too. You know, it just gives it a nicer look. A lot of barbers don't use the razor anymore. And that's something the clients are used to it. So if you know if you don't know how to use them, the razor, just practice and learn how to do it because a service that clients are always looking for, okay? Now, how you can see, I'm just styling the hair. I'm just kind of looking in the mirror. I added a little bit of product just to kind of give it that texture look and kind of like messy um, texture look that a lot of people are looking for. And that's it, that's the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. How you can see, uh, you know, we did the best we could with what we had and that sometimes is what matters, okay? That you try your best and uh, give the make the client look and feel the best, that's all it is. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was useful. Don't forget to subscribe and like it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.